The whole Zuma situation is blown out of proportion, but for very good reasons. As passers-by, we had a lot of theories. Maybe the mission is successful and the whole saga was simply a media fake news. Maybe the mission is successful, but the technology is so secretive that the government has to make up a story to cover it up. Maybe the mission did fail because of Nathrop Grumman's payload adapter. Maybe, maybe, maybe. At the center of the problem, perhaps, is the fact that we don't know anything about Zuma. We don't know who contracted the mission, we don't know what the payload is, we don't even know where it went. So, in order to unravel its mystery, we have to dig a little bit deeper. We need to know what Zuma is. Since Zuma mission is classified, it's basically impossible for us to know what Zuma really does, but from the information at hand, there are some clues for us to continue with the investigation. So I'm Lei, let's do that today. First of all, although we don't know which government entity paid for the mission, we do know it's one of those 16 intelligence or military agencies since Zuma is registered under the name USA-280 on Northrop Grumman's satellite tracking website. Under the USA designation, a few functions have been recognized in previous missions, including navigation, reconnaissance, communication, missile detection, surveillance, and so on. Considering the secrecy surrounding Zuma mission, most probable functions of Zuma will be one of them, but with super advanced capabilities. My thinking would be either reconnaissance, surveillance, or missile detection. If you don't know how powerful America's secret reconnaissance satellite can be, perhaps this video could help you with that. Once we started receiving the data from the spy satellite film coverage, we had a distinct advantage over the Soviets in the military poker game they were playing. The Hexagon camera was certainly the best camera that we had for broad area surveillance. It had about a two foot resolution. So a two foot resolution means that you would be able to discern an object that is two foot in diameter from around uh, 90 to 100 nautical miles uh, up. For example, we could see a picnic blanket, count the number of people. We might be able to have seen a ball being tossed. Yeah, but these are much better pictures than Google Earth. Exactly. The hexagon satellites described in the video were made in the 1970s, and it's better than what Google does now. So if Zuma is indeed a reconnaissance satellite, this is the caliber we're talking about. However, my initial thoughts of Zuma were different. Due to its 51 degree inclination, my initial thoughts were that it might have something to do with the International Space Station because the International Space Station flies at this inclination. For those of you who don't know, inclination refers to the angle between the plane of orbit and the plane of the equator. Not many satellites are flying at 51 degree inclination. The USA-276 was sent to this orbit, and it is also the first government contract SpaceX has ever gotten. So maybe Zuma is some kind of advanced technology demonstration mission. However, my initial idea that Zuma has something to do with the International Space Station was immediately scratched because we realized that Zuma's orbit is probably much higher than we expected. After the launch, sightings of the second stage were found flying above Sudan. This confirms the 51 degree inclination by the same time suggested an orbit that is above 900 kilometers. The International Space Station is flying at a little bit over 400 kilometers above Earth, so Zuma could not have anything to do with the International Space Station. Dumping the link between Zuma and the International Space Station, my quest for what Zuma really does continues. Then I stumbled upon a blog post from Markle. He did a great job explaining and suggested a possible function of Zuma based on its inclination and orbit distance. At 1,000 kilometers away from Earth with 50 degree inclination, Zuma's orbit would give it a great view over most parts of the world, making it a possible candidate for surveillance over illicit shipping movements in the oceans. The lines in the image represent possible path of the satellite. As you can see, it covers most parts of our world, especially the ocean surfaces. While I think what Marco analyzed in his blog post makes a lot of sense, there is one more question that baffles me though. If Zuma is indeed what Marco says it is, What's with the secrecy surrounding this mission? It's no secret that America has a lot of reconnaissance satellites in the sky taking pictures of the world. So why hide it? Why wouldn't the government disclose any information about Zuma? This is when I thought of another equally secret government mission, the MISTI mission. 
You eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Misty was basically an invisible spacecraft that cannot be easily detected from the ground. We don't know if this is really the case for Zuma, but if we entertain this possibility, all that Zuma has gone through, all that Zuma has gone through would make sense. The secrecy, the alleged government cover-up, the inconsistent statements, it would make sense for those unnamed officials to leak the information regarding the failure. It would make sense for Dana White to deflect the question to SpaceX. I would have to refer you to SpaceX who, 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 who uh, conducted the launch. And Drive.com wrote this. The problem is, in this day and age, how do you get a very secretive experimental stealth satellite into orbit without it being immediately tracked? There is no equally stealthy way of undertaking such an operation, at least not yet. As such, a cover story is needed so that the payload can begin its clandestine life in orbit without anyone having to admit that it's up there at all. I agree, Zuma could be a demonstration mission for stealth technology, which means despite our speculations, it is still up there and functioning with no problems. Combining this prediction with the previous one, Zuma is possibly a surveillance satellite with stealth capabilities based on our knowledge of its orbit, inclination, and the government's reaction to it after the launch. With this said, let me throw the questions to you guys. What do you think Zuma is? Do you think stealth technology is one of the possibilities? Let me know in the comment down below. As always, if you have any questions, tweet me at Lake Creatives and we'll take it from there. Peace.